guys, I wanted to do a project today for you guys. I didn't, we've been doing a lot of grinding lately, so I didn't want to have to do any grinding. What I decided to do is one more of my puzzles. Uh, it's actually the last, no, I got a couple more that I do. Uh, it's a relatively simple puzzle to make and a relatively simple puzzle to solve. So it's a, it's a good seller um, for the way puzzles go anyway. Um, I lost my cheat sheet or I forgot to make one. I very often, I'll make a cheat sheet like, you know, nothing high tech, but when I, when I do a one off, and I like it and it's something that's going to sell, um, go back through and just take a quick note, you know, I need these shapes, how many dimensions, whatever is important for you to reproduce that. I don't have that one on this one, so I had to guess at my uh, dimensions, but I think I'm pretty close. I drew this, what I think is to scale, and then took my, my little leather and measured things out. So for the cross piece, uh, again, well, at the end of this, we'll see how our dimensions work out. We've got 18 inches, a quarter inch square for this U-shape piece. Uh, 13 inches a quarter inch square and then for the heart is 22 inches I think 20 did I go 23 yeah I did 23 inches uh, quarter inch round and again you can use anything you want for this it doesn't have to be you know in the end the puzzle has to work but the stock that you use is, is up to you and uh, we have like I said we have three pieces to make we have this this piece here with the two loops on the end closed loops centered and then this U-shape with closed loops on the end, centered, and then we have to make this heart. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started on it, and we'll see if my dimensions and memories work. Here on that U-shape piece, I said 13 inches, it's going to be way too small. I need, I need a few more inches there. So I just cut another piece at 18. Let's go, re I'm going to, actually I won't, I won't show you this. <laughs> let's go ahead and make the U-piece now, the bottom piece for this puzzle. I'm going to heat up the ends, and I'm going to bend it around a one and a half inch mandrel. So it's about an inch and a half in diameter, some type of shaft in there. Go ahead and bend this thing around. And if you were going to make a bunch of these, you probably have a little better setup than I have right now. But there's a one-off. Again, the diameters of these holes relative to the heart and the the uh, that cross pin's diameter on the ends, those are the key things. They don't have to be perfect, but they have to relate to each other well. <laughs> kind of like a lot of things in life, eh, boys and girls? It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's got to relate to a lot of things in life. And then I want to bend this back straight, if I can, if I have enough heat. There we go, that's not bad. Because, let me straighten it up here before I lose my heat and I'll tell you. Because we kind of want those eyes centered, okay? So we gotta make sure we don't leave any gaps in the eye where uh, somebody can cheat. So we'll just close that up. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll turn it around and do the other side. This other side done. Oh, I ain't got enough heat. Gotta go back. Gotta go back for some heat. Alright, get this thing back on there. Make sure everybody's tight and happy. Finish the bend like that. Come back and straighten her out. Just like we did with the last one. Set this one. She's not bad. So again, we're looking for where am I? Two loops. Alright. Alright, so I got a two-inch pipe in the vice as a mandrel. I'm gonna go ahead, I think it's a two-inch, close enough. Go ahead and bend this U now. Get a hold of it, and we want it pretty darn centered, but we'll have time to fix it if we need to. And we'll just bend a U in it like that. That's pretty good. So, if you see the orientation of the U, all right, the eyes are centered, and uh, the holes you know, you want to make sure these guys line up. So, you know, a lot of this stuff you could if you really wanted to do cold. I mean, this 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 material is light enough, but I like doing everything hot. That's what. A blacksmith does when I'm at the show they want to see stuff that I've had in the forge you know 
So there we go, there's our initial U. I think that'll be a much better size. It was 18 inches uh, rather than the 13 that I started with. So next step, let's take the other 18 inch, the original 18 inch piece, put two loops on each end, um, and we're gonna make the loops this two inch diameter. All right, so that, that way they won't slide through the one and a half inch stuff that we just made. So let's do a couple more loops. Let's get this first eye done. And I'm tapping the beginning of this so that the end is nice and round. That way we don't have to worry about it, it being tight there. With this jig, I can play a little game like this. Get everything where I want it. Should be able to get about where I want and bend it right back. If I got enough heat, don't lose your heat, Janet. Ah, oh, wasting time. Come on now, chicken. There you go. I use that jig for bending a few other things, so it's kind of knows what I want to do already. Just going to get this centered again. This loop is centered on the end, just like the other. That's not horrible. It's not perfect, but it'll do. All right. Now, what we do next, for the final step on this piece, is just to put the loop on the other end. Uh, you can throw a twist in here if you wanted to. That would look cool. Um, but this piece goes on that piece, you see? So, um, you don't have to, but it's probably a good idea before you put that loop on the end that we get this piece on here. So, let me heat it up. Get that other loop put in. And again, we want to put this on if we remember to. If not, you have to open that one back up. Get started. back for another heat. We'll heat that up. Ooh, just had a bunch of wind come down the chimney. We, we got that heated up. We gotta go ahead and bend it straight now. Right about there. Good, I think. Yep. Just to get it straightened up. Jeez, so loopies, man. What the hell? <laughs> the world's coming to an end. Falling apart. Just getting this eye straightened up. Sorry, I'm probably off camera. Some place that I like the way it looks. That's good enough. There we go. A little bit crooked here. Where did you throw that screwdriver all the way across? So we're not straight. Straight this way. Straighten it up a little bit. That'll be fine. So there's the, the main body of the assembly. And the last thing you have to do is make that heart. So when you're making the heart, you kind of want everything to line up well. So I put a dimple right there at, uh, this right now is at 23. Let's hope it's the right size. Um, 23 inches, uh, 11 and a half is where I put the dimple so I know where the center is when I go to bend it. Let me heat it up. Just the center hot. I look for my dimple. We want that right. Oh, so it's hot there. Too hot, too hot, too hot. My hands are up, fingers. Where's my dimple go? There it is. We gotta make sure we bend it right there. We want it nice and tight. I'm bending around a piece of half inch, but we might want it a little narrower than that. So I'll go back to the anvil. Just narrow it up. Yeah, we don't want too. We want it kind of narrow, but not too narrow. Kind of straight too. All right, I think that's okay. We like said, like I did with that other puzzle, I'll make a jig for some of this stuff. I can't get a hold of it the way I want to. That's freaky. Come on now, what the heck are you doing? Crazy, crazy thing. It's about par for the course. This heart always gives me grief when I go to make them. I can't understand why I can't get a hold of it enough. Just straighten these guys back out. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, very narrow heart, uh, loop like that. Um, and now we're going to try to make a heart out of the rest of it. 
now about three and a quarter inches a little over three inches three to eight three and a quarter uh, from the point um, I put two dimples in because that's where I want to bend the, for the for the start of the heart because with this length here is critical for the puzzle to be worked so it's better better longer than shorter so uh, definitely and, and the way the, pr the puzzle looks now three inches for this three and a quarter maybe three and a half inches let's get that bending right, if I can find my marks here I'm going to put that in the vise right on those dots as I find them, there they are. Okay. Well, that's that right there. So we'll put those in right about there. And I'm just going to bend these out straight, just like that. Ooh, they didn't bend evenly. Sons of mothers. Jig time, Chandler, jig time. Let me fix it. Here we're going to put it back in again. Just like I had it. So I'm just going to stick a screwdriver in there so that we have the same bend on both sides. There you go. That should do it. That should even it up. Much better. Close enough anyway. Alrighty, we're gonna heat one side of this. Start to form that top of the heart. Hopefully everything down is downhill from here. We'll use that two inch mandrel to do that. Don't need to grab some tweezers here. Just because it's starting to get a little warm. We'll just come up here like this, get that in that two inch. We'll put a little backwards twist on here. Hopefully this is going to be the right dimension. It's looking awful crazy. So it ain't the prettiest thing. Actually, we're a little too flat on top. Let me grab the hammer. Let's see if we can persuade this to be a little more rounded. I don't mind this right angle, but I want that swoop to be there. So that's not looking too bad for the other side. I'll be back start of the other side in on here. Get that round in. Again, we want it to look uniform. I mean, at the same time, you're not making a heck of a lot of money off of these things. So, it's got to look like a heart. That one looks a lot rounded than that one, but it's not terrible. Not terrible at all. Uh, what we need to do now is just bring these ends together. I'll fix that up. Maybe I'll try to... I like the... I it's hard to see with the players here, but I'll try to fix this side up a little bit and uh, and then we're just going to tack those points together. Alright, last thing we'll do is just kind of tweak these points together a little bit. Actually, they're not too bad as they are. There's some down here, aren't they? And, uh, and now a real blacksmith would forge weld those together. I'm just going to tack them together, give them a quick little hit on the grinder again. That's, that's okay. I don't mind that cheating. So I'll do that and I'll be back. This thing will be done. Yeah. One captive heart tavern puzzle. You have to try to figure out how to get the heart off, and it just it just doesn't happen, you know. It's, a, it's, an, it's, a, it's an easy puzzle, but uh, it's definitely challenging for somebody that, that doesn't do these kind of puzzles very often, and certainly hasn't seen it. The solution is to push the heart up like this, so that the two lobes are splitting this bar. That it should allow you to tip the nose of the heart through this ring in the U, slide it over the ring in uh, uh, the horizontal ring and it comes right up. All right, put it back on, it's just the opposite. You go through this little ring, all right, get in there, over and then under that ring and then back down. Pretty cool, huh? One more time. Up. And over. There you have it. Nice easy project. Uh, again, the only the only kicker is the welding here on the end, which a little forge weld could could work there. A simple tack. Um, maybe there's a way to do it if you don't have a welder. Um, besides forge welding, but hey, good practice for forge welding. So there is the captive heart tavern puzzle. Nice and easy, and no grinding involved. Uh, this is a great project for a beeswax finish. Uh, or um, I usually clear coat these uh, to help show the steel. Um, and that's it, y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. 
Sorry, it was a little hokey because I don't. It's only the third one of these that I've made, and uh, I don't have jigs and stuff uh, set up for it yet. But I'm gonna make more of these. They'll be coming along. Thank you for your support, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one for sure. Before I walk away, I want to go back through this. Like I said, I didn't create a cheat for, sheet for this, and these, it's a good thing to do when you have a, uh, a new project that works out. So here's the dimensions. Uh, the top piece was 18 inch square, starting out with a two inch mandrel on the eyes. The uh, U was 18 inches uh, with a one and a half inch mandrel, and then 23, I'd say maybe 24 inches, a quarter inch round. This is quarter inch square up here for the heart with a, yeah, I think I use a half inch mandrel in the first bend and two inch mandrel on the, uh, the other bend. So there's the data for it. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining uh, and you want to support me you can jump back to my channel there's a button on the right hand side of the screen called support and it's kind of like a tip jar and go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video and that'll help me make some more I guarantee thanks for your support as always